So yeah. first, do you want to join in on me? Oh, we're starting already? Oh, uh, we've the map, so... Okay, um... I just, was just trying to see if Des and Typhoon have finished their map. Oh, crap, can't find you for some reason. There you are. Oh, thank you. Blader okay. invited me. Alright, I'm just going to admin Des and Typhoon. Hopefully they're actually out of the match. Yes, they are. I will admin that. Okay, so game number two is on the way, last second, and we're going to bring you game number two. It's going to be on ESL Shakura's part two between Blader and Stolen Sheep. Blader currently 1-0 down against the Zerg player. Can Stolen Sheep close it out 2-0, or will he be able to fight his way back? We'll soon find out on Shakura's part two. Here we go. Spawning down here in the bottom left-hand position of Shakura's part two, we have from Team Inferior. It is Blader as the Red Terran. And currently 1-0 up, spawning up in the top right hand position is the purple Zerg. It is Stolen Sheep. So Stolen Sheep. Uh, sorry, go on. Sorry, go on. No, you go. <laughs> uh, just a quick correction. It is Inferno's Blader Inferno, at the sorry. moment, not Inferior's. Inferno. I get mixed up because they both have the same kind of tag, so... Same with Infused as well. It's getting very confusing yeah. at the moment with teams. They all like <laughs> INF, don't they? Yeah, it seems to be a good one. So yeah, we did see Stolen Sheep there take that game against Blader with the Broodlord Infester composition to finish it off. You had the Ultras to start off with. Made Blader switch to the Marauder Heavy Army and just have no anti-air to deal with those Broodlords as soon as they came into play. So it'd be interesting to see what Blader has up his sleeve right now to try and do against Stolen Sheep. Will he cheese his way? Two racks possibly. It is a good map for two racks in. Um, and no supply depot at the bottom of the ranking period, so he could even wall off your opponent if he wanted to be extremely cheesy. But Blader isn't that kind of player. It does like to play a proper game of StarCraft. So, should be quite good to see what is going to go off here. Indeed, standard wall off coming down for Blader. So, as you said, that will be seeing a two racks out of Blader, but it is a fairly decent map for it. And it looks like Stolen Sheep is going for the 15 expand. There goes down the drone, and that will expand the second it hits 300 minerals. There we go. And there is Stolen Sheep's expansion. Later, starting his gas. So a fairly standard build out of both players at the moment. Not seeing any cheese, which is which is nice. Yep, it is nice to see. It looks like Blader will be going for that Hellion opening yet again, like we saw him doing the last game. So we're getting the ra early Raptor on the Barracks, getting a couple of more Marines out, taking his expansion, and they're throwing down his factory just afterwards as well. So it'll be interesting to see what he does from there, as we do see the spawning, go the spawning pool go down on 16 for Stolen Sheep. Yep, absolutely. Orbital Command is about halfway done, and Stolen Sheep's drone is being a bit of a pain inside Blader's base, but the Marine is now out, and that will not chase it out. Stolen Sheep doing exactly what it did last game, and using it to steal Blader's gas. It's a really good thing for a Zerg to do this against a Terran, because it basically limits the amount of tech paths that a, a Terran can go against a Zerg this early in the game. Yep, so we do see that rare to go down on that Baruch's for Blader right now. And um, we'll see the expansion go down following suit and then the factory just afterwards as the minerals do save up. Oh, excuse me. So both hatches finish up. Two queens start immediately here. Four stolen sheep. No gas just yet. So he's just growing up a little bit more. He's been a little bit greedier than last time. As we did see him get that early gas for the quick speed link opening. And he did try and do that early run by with the 20 links. It didn't really work off for him. So this is probably why he's decided to opt against it. Indeed. Blader going for the same build as he did last time though, as you said, the expansion going down and he is going to produce a couple ling couple ling, sorry, a couple of marines while this factory does finish up and then he will swap it over onto the reactor to get those Hellions out and beginning to wall off his lower ramp on his natural as well. Stolen Sheep, Spine Crawler going down at his natural expansion in order to get some defense up there. Yep, obviously very common against a Terran these days to get that early spine crawler up because you more than likely bang 9 out of 10 times a Hellion, well double Hellions will be, reactive Hellion opens are very common against Zerg so you do need a little protect, protection against them. Some people like to mass up about 6 to 8 Hellions, sacrifice them straight into the main running past the spine crawlers and trying to kill as many drones as possible. Some players opt to just defend, get the 4, four to 6 Hellions out 
and deny the creep spread as much as possible which is very easily done on this map at the bottom of the natural ramp as soon as you start getting those creep tumors out which Stormy Sheep is starting to do, he has four queens out right now so he will be able to defend against any Hellions he's also getting the creep tumors on the map to get that out spreading as fast as possible very early macro hatch going down here for Stolen Sheep as he takes double gas straight away here. So it's being extremely greedy at the minute. Let's have a look at the work count. 33 to 24 in favor of Stolen Sheep with the work count. And Blader just slowly walling himself in with the supply depot and the bunker at the minute. Marines trying to pick off that one overlord but just getting out of sight just a little bit just there. So at the minute. Co players playing very, very standard here, apart from Dolan Sheep being a little bit greedy. Metabolic boost should start up as soon as that 100 gas hits. It's currently on 50 gas, so as soon as that happens, that will be going down. Indeed, I just said Stolen Sheep being very greedy, but he is also playing very defensively with that spine crawler and the mass creep tumors with the four queens that he has out. But the macro hatch is making it more difficult for him to get out any units to defend himself with. Does he actually have any lings out right now? I don't no, think he does. he does, no, and he's got this Hellion drop going up into the main as well. I think it was scouted a little bit by the Overlord up here at the north position, but I'm not too sure that Stolen Shoot did see this, as he's got the two queens in his main. He has started his LaTeX as well, but still no lings in production. Bailing Nest on the way. Do you see the metabolic boost? Only just started as well. It's only a quarter away, done nearly halfway, and these Hellion drops are going to do quite a bit of damage, especially if he's... Drones start lining up, and here we go. What is going to do? Stolen Sheep is going to pull all his drones, but Flader cannot get around. Blade, uh, Stolen Sheep trying to split as many possible, as much as possible. All the queens are getting involved right now, but these headings are doing so much damage. No links to actually deal with any of these. Uh, a lot of links just produced right now, but they are really slow links as well. This metabolic body boost has not even started. If Flader can get behind this, this spawning pool, it could be disaster for Stolen Sheep right now. He's lost so, so many workers right now. 16 workers killed with just those four headings. So, excellent payoff there from Blader. Indeed. Huge amounts of damage damage, damage dealt there by, by Blader. So, taking a big lead. Forcing Stolen Sheep to produce lots of links as well. So, he's not going to be able to replenish all those drones that he lost very quickly either. And it looks like the Stolen Sheep's greediness will be working against him here. Stolen Sheep using the links that he was forced to produce to move out. But he is going to run straight into a full wall off here from Blader. With his two siege tanks. No siege mode yet. But there is the bunker there that will be able to defend against this. Siege mode is going to finish very shortly. And Stolen Sheep is going to get nothing done there. Yeah, so it looks like we're going to go into Spy a Scan on top of his own... Okay. Did he scan himself? Yep, yes. he just scanned himself just then. We do see the spire going down yet again for Stolen Sheep. So, Stolen Sheep going for that mirrorless play, which is not really been that common these days during the Marine, uh, during against Terran, just due to the fact that missile turrets are usually put up all over the place as soon as the mirrorless are been, well, have been scanned and scouted. But, I don't know, it paid off for him last time. He did actually get a lot done. So we're seeing if we can work for him again. Marines pushing out now and a few tanks. Uh, what we got in production, nothing at the minute. Bailing speed on the way, 26 lings in production right now. But this third base could be under a lot of pressure very closely with a lot of creature is on the middle of the map. Are going to get cleaned up here by the Marines. They're uh, going to take down a lot of them at the minute. Obviously Siege Tech has finished up on, this three tank, on these three tanks that are pushing up. Third is going to get take, taken down so, so early. Bailing's being morphed in right now. Bailing speed has finished up as well, but they will have to come past the tanks to get towards the Marines. So it'll be interesting to see what actually happens in this little engagement as soon as Stolen Sheep decides to engage. Supply count is roughly about even now. Blader taking the slight advantage at the minute. Siege tanks taking out a few of the creep tumors. Spinning a few Marines forward, taking them out. Ling's trying to come in here, but not having much help at all. Indeed, steaming straight into the links there and forcing one of the bailings to explode. So, poor Stone Sheep obviously not paying attention. And he is supply blocked, having to produce two more overlords, but there are eight muters on the way. And picking up his army, Blader is returning home, but that doesn't mean he loses one of his siege tanks there. Yeah, pretty smart play there by Blader. He did know that lings and bailings were outside the front of his that bit of army, so 
picking up all of his army, taking it back in the medevacs, and here we go. Engagement going around the front, but, but uh, Stolen Sheep losing quite a lot of lungs to those few t siege tank shots. And now Blader is going to be back up. He has got his third command centre up and running as well. He will be taken down to his third very shortly, but he is not prepared for these mule lists. He's got one missile turret inside the mineral line. And these Mulists are coming in, forcing a cancellation on the second Evo chamber. They're going to try and pick off the Evo, uh, the engineering bay, while it's researching the plus one armor for those Marines. <coughs> Absolutely. Not losing any muters, Stone Sheep with some pretty good control there. And later throwing down his armory, so he is going to begin getting those upgrades for those tanks. Which are, go which are going to be so useful against this, against these Lings and Banelings. Yep, two more Mutalists on the way here. Blady just pushing out to secure his third expansion right now. Creep Tumor all over, Creep all over the place here for Stolen Sheep. Stolen Sheep is definitely on it for the Creep in this match. He's over, already over halfway right now and we've got producing more Mutas. He's uh, getting the melee attack level 1, the Kelepes level 2. His third base is finished up as well, so it's just finally saturating that. Five more drones in production to help saturate that third base. But Blader is on the same amount of bases up him. He's on for a little bit earlier. He has those mules looking at the work count. 53 to 66 in favour of Stolen Sheep right now. But Blader is ahead in the upgrade count and also in the army count. Sitting supply basically even here, 145 to 145, so dead even at the minute actually for both of the players. Marines, Mewers trying to come in here, will be able to pick off one tank before losing a couple of Mewers. So about an even trade off just then for Blader. Queen going to get caught out here in the middle of the t uh, map. Mewers might come down and help it, but it doesn't look like it's going to do it. The Queen is going to lose out. And it looks like the muters are just going to try and pick off these two marines, stimming some more marines forward, trying to catch some of these muters. But now stimming in and taking out lots of these creep tumors. Not many marines going to back here to help defend against the tanks. Another tank gets picked off, but losing two muters. Stimming forward yet again, trying to catch another muters, but not quite doing that. And the blader just at the minute cleaning up the creep tumors right now against stolen sheep. Indeed, sort of sheep keeping on top of his macro though, he does still have this very heavy Ling Muter and st st there, and sorry, Blader missing the scan there, only catching the very edge of Stone Sheep's army, and Stone Sheep is thinking about pushing out, but a really good scan there from Blader. Stand. He knows exactly what's coming, sieging up, but the army's already on top of him, here come the Bailey, so much damage. Oh uh, no. All been taken down, the Muter just dealing so much damage, but... Blader does manage to get his marines out of range and most of them survive, forcing Stone Sheep to pull back all of his muters. And now Blader is moving up into the third base of Stolen Sheep here, and that will go down. There is nothing here to defend this. Yeah, Blader better off in that engagement than all the bailings hitting the uh, tanks just then. So many drones going down here. Ling's coming in here. Marines are going to finally get cleaned up, stimmed to the death, and so easy for the Lings and Mulis to pick up. But Blader, I believe, is better off in that engagement. Those Bailings were just connecting straight against the tanks, leaving the Marines to survive. I don't know if it was a wise idea to push the third base just then for Blader. Let's have a look at the work count. 29 workers killed, actually. Yes, it was for Blader. Blader's getting a lot of workers killed then, so bringing the... Work out to 68 to 59 in favour for Blader. Couple of Marines coming out in the forward, trying to pick off one or two of these Mulis, picking off a few Creep Tumors as well. Back in the main base, a lot more Marines. Tanks obviously up as well. Do you see the infestation pick finally coming down for Stolen Sheep? Quite a bit late for him right now. And Blader is definitely on top of this and he's going for another push here. I don't know if Stolen Sheep will be able to defend against this. Money scan goes down, does see the Bailings and Lings? at the top here so it will be presuming something is coming down very shortly but tanks are sieging up and if it's going to if the engagement is anything like last time it's going to definitely take Blader so so far ahead indeed 44 links just popped though so some sheep does have a very sizable army to deal with this but just lost a lot of muters to a good marine stem trying to pick off one of the tanks and getting nothing and these marines are going to be picked off eventually but the men are back healing them keeping them alive for way too long there. Yeah, definitely. 44 links in production right now. More Mulis going down. He's only left with two Mulis. No Mulis left on the field here for Stolen Sheep. 
In stolen sheep is just left with Bailings and Lings at the minute. Morphin in 13 more Bailings. Tanks edging forward little by little here. Leapfrogging them one by one. Looking back at his own base, we do have another.